What do you need? Uh, we, our bus came late and we mm -hmm. missed breakfast. Uh oh, should we see what we have? You guys want some cereal? Sure. Okay. This is a story about three local businesses working together to help solve the problem of childhood hunger. Some granola. Um, do you want milk on it? Yes, please. Okay. Why don't you guys each have a seat? And together, they put a product together. They essentially created a cereal that was to be used for kids in schools where they didn't have breakfast. In 2005, Grain Millers, Glory Bee, and Golden Temple, now Attuned Foods, joined forces with Food for Lane County to create the Cereal for Youth program. What's really cool about this project is seeing three food companies come together with a food bank to do something good. I'm going to let you work by yourself with the cereal. The Cereal for Youth program creates individual servings of nutritious cereal that is given to school children who need a little boost. It's available to any kids regardless of income. The original intent of the donors and the intent that we have is to help reach kids 18 and under who are in need of a snack at any time, morning, noon, or night. Grain Millers provides the grain. Atun Foods makes and packages the cereal. In the early days, Glory B provided the honey. All three are still financial partners in the project. Food for Lane County manages the Cereal for Youth program and distributes the cereal to the schools. This is about food, but it's also about education. And I think it really does start with the children. At the top it says, grains make half your grains whole and teaching them what is healthy. Sugar, fat, salt, so choose them less often. At Mount Vernon Elementary School in Springfield, students are learning about food, nutrition, and the importance of eating right. But the need for this cereal is even bigger than most would believe. It is so important. Some of our children just simply don't have the opportunity to have enough of a breakfast or the kind of breakfast that'll support their needs during the day. We have a huge amount of students, a percentage of students that are on free and reduced lunch. The teachers here use it for giving children extra energy during testing times. Keep working on your stuff. I see sometimes students who, to, to be able to have a bag of cereal to take home with them, it's like a present. The first year of the program, 8,000 servings per month were given to students. I will be giving you your bag of cereal for you to take for over the weekend. In 2013, that number was at 28,000 a month. Since starting the program, we've donated about 1.2 million servings of the vanilla crunchies or the blueberry flax. Grain Miller's plant in the heart of Eugene provides oats and understands the importance of taking care of the needs of local children. Lane County's Economic Development Department would like to see more collaboration like this between local businesses to solve local issues. The community. So it's a win-win for us when we have industry working together and building collaborative relationships and partnerships, but then also helping uh, a disadvantaged population that needs that assistance. These three companies simply create a program out of products they already produce. There's a lot of problems in this world that affect a lot of people, but they thought this is something we can do something about. You know, childhood hunger is something that we can get together and we can do something about. Well, we know when you are hungry that that tends okay. to be the dominant thing that you're thinking about. So who can, who can remind me of what we said about that? Children will respond so much better to their teachers and to whatever communication is going on in class if they have some energy. If we tell them it's fuel. Right now, what started with two schools is now at 146 different schools and kids programs across the county. I would just love to thank those people for thinking of our students and, and it really makes a big difference in the lives of kids. What's inspiring to me is that it really was people in the business community who wanted to come together and do something to help. And so they didn't do it on their own, but they looked at their partners in the food manufacturing world and in the business world, and they got together and made a proposal to Food for Lane County. So I think it was a partnership all around, actually. So that's what's inspiring, is that level of partnership that was there.